gonna need lights to climb a mountain You gotta keep the light close to you I'll be the pillow when you stumble Look how fast everything is sprouting here in the tropics <laughs> These are durian seeds and they're just like a week here outside and um, they're already sprouting and it's pretty impressive to see the, the sprout of the durian it's very big very thick look at this it's enormous And this is papaya tree and the smell of its flowers is just mesmerizing they're so tiny and they become such a big thing <laughs> our clothes to dry here because it was rainy yesterday huh? good morning good morning <laughs> we are heading to the beach today is finally sunny and beautiful hope it's clean over there the I think it will be yeah. yeah it will take our rain it's coats. calm it's not uh, crazy weather so yes know. and the sky is so clear it's super clear. Usually there's a lot of um, clouds coming from just over there, which is from the mountain. That's how we know it's going to be raining the whole day. But today is just perfect. So we're going to use this time to actually go to the beach. It will be a long trip. It's like, how long is it to get there? About an hour? <coughs> Perhaps 45 minutes. Yeah. If there's no one in the street. <laughs> there's a closer beach as well, but uh, we just like that place over there. And there's a big supermarket, and we're just gonna buy some things. We're good to go? Yes. And in my arms, I'll keep you. Find some sugar cane juice cookies. For a moment, I thought we were gonna see the room. No. no! We stopped eating durian. We will tell you why later. Anyways, we just came, we are almost there, but we just stopped to get some fruits from the shop, maybe, to have for the beach, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go, Cookie. Life is all I need to show it. Be forever in my heart. Simple smile and then I know it 
Nothing will ever make us part. This one looks good. <laughs> Some soda water for fun. We are finally here. The river came so close. I don't know if you see this part here. It came all the way here before it was going much further away. But now because of the rains probably. And it pushed out all this garbage. Which is good because there's a lot of garbage on the beaches here. And uh, no. <laughs> we were just thinking that sometimes if um, no, the no, humans don't take don't care of nature no. to clean, then no, just no, nature no. does her own thing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very cool like this. You have the the tree behind you. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> Supreme being. <laughs> you were not expecting. This being was a little bit cleansing um, some mucus you're already <coughs> better still have some bronchitis I don't have bronchitis for maybe three four years or more maybe more and I think I will not have for a very long moment because you're actually cleansing something emotional as well yes it's a, a result heart. yeah so Whatever the mucus is, that's what, what people call a, a disease. And when it's open up, we also we actually open the chakra that is located there even more. Right. So my heart is expanding even more. And uh, you did some. We I think we already shared. You did some fruit fasting. <coughs> Give a little bit of less fruits, and I did a, a dry fast. And we are now doing collectively with all your souls. Maybe some of you watching this are doing the 555 technique. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's super cool. I was gonna caress you. So what's your name? You can caress me. <laughs> A cookie. <laughs> I think I'm ready. You going to the water? To clean my bronchitis. <laughs> Your mucus. This actually is amazing. Very simple way to find out where you have blockages and which chakras. Just observe yourself and you can analyze yourself throughout the, the last several years. When you get sick, where do you get hit first? Um, for example, before I always had problems with my um, nose and the throat. Even now, if I happen to come into this condition, one of the first places I start to detox is here. And when you remember which place you have the most problem with, uh, you can think of which is the corresponding chakra. On the throat, it's the throat chakra, it's very obvious. Here the nose is actually the third eye. I really need it, uh, a cleansing on the third eye. And once I did, this stopped, I don't have any more issues with my nose. And if you have very often headaches, for example, or migraine, or you know, anything related with the head, it's most definitely the crown chakra. And like this, you can just 
observe yourself and um, depending on which are your weak points these are the chakras you want to to work on and afterwards there's a lot of techniques you can um, use the simplest one which is part of the choose energy healing that uh, we practice with Andre is just to use the color corresponding to the chakra and to imagine that it just starts expanding from uh, the relevant chakra and from the chakra it just fulfills all your being eventually you can do this in a meditation it's very simple and it's a very very effective technique and if you want actually to to learn more the choose healing yourself in depth you can do that very easily um, I'm gonna put the the website of the choose healing underneath in the description and if you wish to be initiated uh, with the energy so it can be even more effective you can always contact me as well or if not me there's a list of all the masters on the website as well and uh, you can contact any of them <laughs> oh baby let we go to the water let's go okay we're going in the water mm. oh I will keep you safe and sound I will always be around I will keep you safe and sound I will always be around oh. recording I was and now you don't want to say anything I just say that uh, <laughs> um, because I have a small thing over there I hurt myself and it was because we were parked uh, where you guys so I don't know if we are gonna compose this video the same way it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah. we went to the shop and you pay parking a very little here is 1000 you can make your own estimation 1000 and uh, the guy of the parking was still there and my intuition told me he is gonna do something to help you but you're not gonna like and and I was being bothered by this and I said okay I'm just not gonna say anything and it's gonna be okay and I went on the scooter, and you know the scooter has this uh, metal thing, so you can uh, lay the scooter on itself. On and the back part yes, of I, the seat. Yes, I didn't put it inside, back to its place, because I was still taking my time. And he grabbed the scooter from the back, and he pulled out, but, you know, gently. I he, thought he, not he, very gently. No, <laughs> uh, he thought he was being gentle. Yes. That's what I was meaning. And I hurt myself because uh, I touched my left foot there. And uh, the, this stopper thing or whatever it's I called. I just didn't want his help anymore. Just get out of here, please. <laughs> and uh, this just proved something that when the intuition tells you something, he is going to do something. That means if we do not take conscious action, then we cannot stop it. He, he, he is going to interfere. And also, 
<clears throat> from the other side, from his point of view. It just proves that, um, you know, helping is fruitful, is good only when, uh, <laughs> only when it's uh, asked for. So when we actually help, when we are not asked for help, it's not help. We, it's actually has. It is the kelp. <laughs> because we are in the sea. It has the opposite effect rather than um, when they're asking us for help. Yeah. So that's something else to consider. We have been encountering this a lot in our lives, from our families mostly. They're very gentle and nice and beautiful. We love them very much. But when the, the help is not asked for, then uh, it starts to have the, the opposite effect eventually. <laughs> oh. It's going to rain in a while. Yes. <laughs> like uh, right now. It just so happened today we woke up very early. This doesn't happen very often. For me, we were, we wanted to feed the birds, but there's not even one bird alive in this country. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like it's. This is sourdough bread. I was craving so much. <laughs> Healthy craving. Yeah, I could never imagine I would crave bread so much. Savory. The savory land is awaiting us. <laughs> That's what I wanted to show. <laughs> How red I am. And this being... Hey, he's okay, but I'm red. <laughs> so we just came back, we <coughs> took yeah. a shower. It's already like lunchtime. 12 o'clock, I think. And... I'm a little bit sleepy, so I think we're gonna eat some papaya. We got some papaya. We bought some olive oil for later. And um, I think I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> and then I'm gonna ride the 555. <laughs> we have a humongous wasp. I don't know if you will be able to see it. I'm gonna try to show it. Look at this, and these are not the usual wasps that we have in Europe, right, baby? <laughs> no, they are super scary. Yeah. Nice. There's even bigger than this. This, this. this is nothing, but it's already very big. So, we are trying to catch it I'm gonna catch with this device, with this thing. Because we already saw a few small nests around the house and if you have a nest, nest of wasps, that's very, very scary. You are super good. Okay, that's it. We're sorry. No, it's still stuck here. Oh no, and they can see it. We don't usually touch animals, but you know. They enter in our house all the time. Yeah, this thing can be actually dangerous. Same way why we don't have pets. We don't like pets. Uh, dogs, cats, uh, birds, and nothing like this. A true, a true, if you really want to call yourself, for example, vegan or something, you will not want pets, you don't, you don't want to get nearby animals, almost. Just very few, like very high vi vibrational, like elephants, dolphins and stuff like this. But even though they have their own space, we are in our own space. And yeah, they're coming on Earth also to be free. And what we are doing, we are capturing in, in these yeah. small houses and flats. It's not really the best thing for them. Yeah, that's why uh, there's like, there's a sign when the bug comes to you, you know, of course, but there's also, 
you are you have your own space they have their own space that's it that's it if we actually keep a pet at home it's like we don't respect their space we are entering in their space and um, this is more I don't even know how to explain it. Because <laughs> we never spoke about this topic, so it's okay, yeah. we'll, spoke, we'll speak more. We love animals. The reason why we are saying this is because high vibrational this channel is for the love of the highest vibration. Yeah. And to be on the highest vibration, the animal will never be at that point. Even though elephants and dolphins are super high vibration, they still need their own space. When we are combined, we are not... Uh, taking the energies is high we are just uh, it's another story so it's like this how it works yes they they have their own journey coming here on earth okay. and we have ours okay we're gonna eat on we eat on the ground guys <laughs> right here on our carpet that's it our lunch and I will keep you safe and sound I will always be around <laughs> I'm just showing what we are doing This is the most ancient, tastiest, lightest bean in the world The chickpea? Yes Oh, okay It is very light in it I we have some bulk potatoes. I am the one who can say this because I'm sensitive to such things. <laughs> yes. We're gonna put some tomatoes as well, some greens, some coriander, some dill. I'm gonna show you at the end what it's going to look like. They wanted to give us durian. That being over there. But we said no, even though it was difficult. Right, Cookie? <laughs> it's a constant torture, to be honest. So we actually decided to entirely stop eating durian. <laughs> we really did. Yeah, because the detox that Andre is going through is a result of eating Lots of durian? As well. I mean, lots. We were not eating like crazy. Ten every day. <laughs> no. We were not even eating every day. And um, me, I was breaking out on the forehead. I was experiencing like um, hormonal disbalance because of the durian itself. We just discovered by Providence that it's super rich in estrogen. If you didn't watch Andre's video about that before. Yeah, I I didn't it. really tap into such a thing, but I said even deeper the spiritual meaning, uh, what it really does. Yes, to me it totally disbalanced my hormones um, because I usually have higher uh, levels of estrogen, and with this it totally knocked me out. It was a little bit crazy, yes. and um, I decided as well that I'm going to stop. Forever and ever. <laughs> it's gonna be very good. It is very good. I get hot. I cannot eat also cooked. Uh, yes, it makes you know. super hot. So to us, anything that acts like this it actually uh, intoxifies the body a lot. So why would we eat something that makes us intoxicated in such a complex way and we yeah. have to detox all the time afterwards it was like a constant detox even though it is durian. even though it is raw it's the fact that um, it brain hacks you and just like i spoke in in the other video much more detailed but i'm just gonna say that it is very addictive and uh, anything that is yeah. like this it's not even as addictive as the avocado. The avocado, people say that it is addictive, but the durian no. is ten times more. The avocado is not addictive because it's super alkaline. Anything alkaline is not addictive at all. Yes. And um, 
it just makes you have lucid dreams, a lot of lucid dreams. And we don't resonate with anything that makes you have lucid dreams at all. Because this is actually entering the fourth dimension. Yeah, we already realized that. We will make a separate video about that because there's many other things that put you in this state. But actually lucid dreaming is not astraling. And <laughs> that's not what the astral experience is supposed to be. That's it's why they are two different much things. Much more higher and high vibrational. That's why. That's why they are two different things. Yeah. So we we just decided to let go of durian. We, not that we hate it <laughs> with everything and that we said. And the dreams we were it's having amazing. was the dreams was also too much. Mm -hmm. Now we still have dreams. They can be still crazy, but uh, it's not like a, it's as crazy. much intense. But we are still taking them off. It's so we prefer to eat some cooked food and to be grounded. <laughs> not just some cooked food. Cooked food from cooked food can be very different. We're gonna eat dinner and <laughs> we will see you next time. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> if you come to the tropics, still make sure you try the durian. Yes, you have to try it for this. You have to try it at least. And Bali durian is the best. It's a, a thousand times still better than eating animal products. Yeah. But, okay,